Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Air Hauler with me, Emmy Heard Thirty Seven. All right, so we're still flying the Boeing uh, Seven O Seven, and uh, we're over here in Denver. Obviously, it's a far away away from where uh, we last flew, which was Chicago. And I'll tell you more about that later. Uh, but we don't have too much time, although this is a short flight. Uh, we're going from Denver to Sherman Denison. Uh, as you can see, it's a a bunch of cargo, I mean, 139,000 pounds, uh, but it pays 696,000. I originally wanted to take this one uh, to College Station because it's so light and it pays, you know, only 10 grand less. The only problem is it's a 7,000 foot runway and I don't even know if that's long enough for a 707 to land on. Oh, great. Somebody just finished, but it screwed my map up. But anyway, as you, could, you, you saw there, I'm not sure. If, yeah, okay. I don't know if I want to wait on that thing or not. Sometimes it takes forever to re reload itself. Let's see if we can go back here. So, we're going to Sherman Denison. I have no idea really where that is. Uh, but as you can see, it's got a 9,000 foot runway, so a lot better. Especially for me, because I'm still not, I'm not really comfortable with this plane. Alright, let's go ahead and load this thing up. Oh, it's already loaded, but. Yes, I do want to go there. See, I was in Albuquerque. I'll take. I've been trying to fly this thing, but been having problems. All right. You see, Alexander Floyd's there. I've had to have her fly because I run out of time I'm screwing around with these jobs. Uh, so we can go 2,200 miles. Can't get any more fuel in there anyway. I had to take some out just to get this in. I'm gonna fly during the day, and I'll meet you in the cockpit. All right, everybody. Here we are. Just kind of looking around. Not too much going on in this area. Alright, moving inside. Now, when we start, to, I've been looking for, like, manuals and stuff online and everything to really start this thing up the best way. Just my mic. Nobody really has, there's, I've seen like different ways to start it up. I've seen a guy with the manual, but some of the systems were left out. So we'll just keep on doing it the way we've been doing it. Just got to start off by pushing in these breakers. I believe that's the last one. All right, we go over to the engineers panel. Turn our battery on. Let's uh, hook up the external power and air. Move this to external power. Put this on bus tie. Whoops. There we go. There we go. And put this on ground service. You can see our voltages are come up. Turn these. There's just a temperature. Open these up. Put that on inlet. Don't need galley power right now. Let's move on down. I'm going to open up these two. We're going to shut off one boost pump. Like, see, I don't know if you're supposed to do this, but I've seen people do it. I've seen people not. It's just kind of... Nobody really seems to know about this plane. I wish somebody out there really knew. Flight recorder. Let's see. Equipment cooling. I'm not going to go through all the testing. Like, you know, you can test your fuel quantity and all that good stuff. Some of these are empty anyway because we had, had to dump so much fuel to get all this cargo on here. All right, I think that's I think that's about it over here. We set our altimeter. I said this has to be down. Apparently, I was wrong. I didn't see that. That's supposed to be up. Actually, we don't. Let's turn on our nav. I believe it's that. And there we go. Our wing lights. I'm going to go ahead and reorganize this stuff. 
Actually, let's holler at ATC. We need to get that going. It takes a little Fire while. On standby. All right, let's go ahead and turn on the beacon. There it is. Set this up real quick. Put these on low. Turn these on. Where's the seatbelts? There's the seatbelts. All right, put this on low pressure. And we'll go for engine three start. Course we're looking at that dial right there for 15 percent. All right, engine three is going. Whoa, there we go. Try to go to this one. Now nah, that one is better. All right, engine four. Fifteen percent. Ready to taxi IFR. Orbit five five. Taxi two and hold short of runway gate. Using taxiway Sierra Charlie Alpha two. Engine four is going. Contact tower on one two four point. Let it settle for a second. Orbit five five. Hold position. Caution other traffic. All right, engine two. Fifteen percent. Alright, that's good. Let it settle. And engine one. Fifteen percent. Alright. Just ground start off. All right, let's go over here. Gen three. Turn off the ground power. Move this. Almost forgot. Now we can disconnect our external power and air. All right, let's go ahead and get our pushback. There he goes. So that that. You go outside, those engines are so friggin' loud. There's so much friggin' chatter. Oh my goodness. 
That was great. How about that? Oh, yeah. The ground stuff is so weird. The other day I was taking off. I was recording it, but it crashed on me. I'll talk about that. One of these ground guys that was pushing us like that, when I took off, he was on the freaking runway. I had to go to the right of him. I was taking off on the runway, and he's out there jerking around on the runway. It was crazy. Yeah, I don't know why the planes don't seem to recognize each other and stuff on the ground. Alright, we'll stop our pushback. Hopefully this guy gets out of our way. And he goes to our right, which is exactly where we need to go. And they don't act right. Come on, guy. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead, because who knows, he may stop and go back to the right or something. Look at him, he just... Ignorant. Alright, taxi lights are coming on. Okay, guy, see, it's just... Can you not just go straight back to where you were? Like, really? All right. Enough of that guy. So like I said, I've been trying to fly. It had some problems. Uh, I installed that ENB mod. It deals with, uh, I guess, I don't... You call it brightness, especially the sky, but it affects everything, actually. But uh, it does not work well with this plane. It's like anything else with FSX. Just the slightest thing can not work with anything. It works fine with a bunch of my other planes, like the Grand Caravan and stuff. It works with planes like that, but the 707 does not like it. It causes major problems. And the weird thing is, it just deals with uh, brightness and stuff like that, but the plane would operate just crazy with it. And it's weird because it has nothing to do with controls, but, you know, that's how it is. Yeah, I've been trying to do a bunch of different flights. Usually, there's not enough, a whole lot of time, so if something goes wrong, crashes, or anything like that, uh, I've been having another pilot fly. Because I don't want to lose out on the money just because FSX wants to crash and stuff like that. Plus, it kills our rating if, you know, we don't do the job or get it there on time. I'm really digging those AI planes. You know, like the real libraries and stuff? I like that. I hope this doesn't turn into some insanely long taxi. This airport is so big. I'm also getting kind of annoyed by all this ground chatter. Just... All this talk on the radio, it's just crazy. I hope we're following that guy right there. He's like, I believe that's the runway over here. I'm hoping that's us. Hopefully we can follow this guy. It's just such a huge airport. I remember flying into it back in, I think it was 97. Like, the airport was almost brand spanking new. I remember it was, I originally thought it was such a boondoggle because of that main terminal and everything, but I, I remember going there, it was, I really liked it. It's massive though. I guess we'll eventually get there. I know a bunch of y'all like the taxi. I hate the taxi, but since subscribers want it, so I'll put it in. The other reason I don't like it is just to waste my bandwidth, you know. 
add a lot of time to the flights, and it just makes the freaking files so big to upload. It's like five and six hour uploads. Actually, no, it's longer than that. I've had some uploads want to take around ten hours. Which is just crazy. So I like to keep them as short as possible, just so I don't have to spend so much time uploading them overnight. Yeah, we're going to the left. See if that guy ever got there yet. Is that guy on the runway? Is that a United or Continental? Talking about me, I believe, the Boeing on the runway. Slowing down a bit, we're so heavy. It takes a good amount of thrust just to get us moving. Grandma on the taxiway. We must be going way too slow or something. They have to keep holding for us. It's like they recognize us on the taxiway, but that one dude when we were backing up sure as heck didn't. Went right through us. Oh, why don't they shut up with that? He's way back there. Like, he doesn't need to be told he can see us, you know? Cash in the Boeing on the runway. Cash the Boeing on the runway. Are we taking off to the right? I guess so. So I thought that guy on the left, those United plane, I thought they were on the runway, but apparently not. Yeah, look, that plane is, those planes are already leaving, man. We were going real slow on the taxiway. I'll speed her up. See, we were behind that guy for a little while, and he's already getting on the runway. So I'm really digging the real, you know, buildings and plane libraries and everything. That's awesome. Can't, for the life of me, remember who makes this scenery. I, imagine? I can't remember. I wanted to say Imagine Simulations. I'm not sure. Of course, put it in the description. I wanted to say it's Imagine Sim. I can't remember, though. Oh, wish that guy would shut up. <laughs> so stupid. Although we are going slow, like I said, I realize that. Usually, I'm the one flying down the taxiways. Round orbit four five four five. 
Almost there. Feels so remote out here. That's shows you how big this friggin' airport is, man. Out into the nothingness. Alright, let's hit up ATC. Not close enough. There we go. Move on to the runway, we trim this up. Oh, whoops. Wrong button. Set our flaps at 25. Now we'll trim it up. Use a lot of trim, we're really heavy. I don't think I have to hold the brakes on this one. I think, well, it depends on what runway, but most of these runways over here in Denver are huge. Landing lights are on. We'll do a rolling takeoff. No reason to stop again. See, it takes so much thrust to get this thing moving from a dead stop. bring up this stuff. Never got this out of the way. Alright. Let's go ahead and take off. We'll advance the thrust. Airspeed's alive. Look how long it's taken us to gain speed. Although at the high elevation, you know, engines don't have as much power. See if she can get up. Positive rate. Gear up. Well, I had to take my hands off the controls. Sorry about that. Start retracting our flaps. Flaps are fully retracted. Ah, oh, crap, push wrong button. Thank you. 
Uh, gotta take my hands off the friggin' controls. I hate that. I've already turned that on, but oh well. Whoops. We're at 10,000. Why are those buttons always fight me? These two right here. I don't understand it. to 12,000. Bring it down just a little bit. That's better. Of course, when we get to 13,000, they'll tell us to go to 25 or so. Yeah, there we go. 19. All right, everybody, we're all on our way, so I'll go ahead and speed this thing up. Be back in just a bit.
All right, everybody, I'm back. Let's check out the map. They just told us one seven left. So let's check this out. One eleven point seven. Where's one eleven? One eleven point seven. Check one thing. Was it one seventy or one seventy seven? See this one seventy seven. Let's move this to one seventy seven. Seven thousand. Need to slow down a little bit as well. So it says we're at one two two. We were supposed to be at one two five. We'll be close. Only 47 miles out. I'm not sure how big this airport I'm not sure if there's a tower there or not. Kind of a hope there's not. Fort Worth Center. Piper, November 0, was it 7,000? Uh, we'll never see it, but yeah, it was 7,000. So we got about 7,000 to go. What speed are we moving at? Alright. Felt like we were just moving kind of fast there. Not sure why we're at 165. That seems kind of odd. Alright, there we go. Ah, uh, that wasn't the airport anywhere. It's runway 17. Going this way. So I'm not sure. Kind of a weird heading. Just slow down just a little bit. We're almost at 10,000, so we don't want to be above 250. Get our lights on. I don't really need that. 
Somebody's finishing jobs. Alright, at 8,000 now. We're, up, we're still speeding a little bit, but we're about to flatten out, so I don't want to... There's a lot going on right now, I can tell you that. Oh crap, wrong way. Now our speed should drop. There we go. Twenty seven hundred. Twenty six miles out. Send a little bit quicker. Although we really don't need to. They I'm not sure if it's just this plane or what, but I've noticed they bring you in really low with this plane. I'm not sure if it's just this plane or not, but it seemed to always be brought in really, really low. I'm gonna select this approach. Alright, 25 miles out. Cessna 07 Charlie, contact Fort Worth Center on 124.75. Send a little bit quicker. 124.75, Cessna 07 Charlie. Coming up on 5,000 feet, got 27. Out. There we go. Yeah, so no tower, it looks like. Cessna 269er, contact Fort Worth Center on 124.75. Kilo Golf, Yankee, India, traffic, NM701, heavy, is 22 miles north, inbound, ILS, runway 17, left. I don't even see the frig. Is this it right here? Oh, we've only got a 10 mile range. There we go. I'm gonna go left just a little bit. We don't really need to do this with the GPS, but you know. Not sure if we can get on the localizer or not. Taking us to the right. Crap. We are too friggin' low. Be able to get it now. Man, I let it get too low. Just concentrating on trade, concentrating on everything else. I didn't wasn't watching that.
go ahead and drop the gear. Why is it? What? Okay, so apparently that doesn't want to work. So cut the autopilot, do this myself. I'll give it one more shot. Bring out some flaps. Try one more time. And thanks for not working. Got to get everything set. I'm all out of whack. There's the airport. It says we're low, which is understandable. So I thought we were three miles out. We're three miles from the freaking... Put the gear back up. From the waypoint, not the airport. It always gets me. It's the waypoint, not the airport. Once you've activated that. As you can see, it says we're still too low. There we go. Now we're a little high. Put the gear back down. Let's try one more time. Yeah, now it wants to work. Now she's a working. Not locked on yet, but all right, there's that. Wonder if it'll catch the glide slope before too high. Speed up a little bit. I'm gonna check this. Oh man. We are certainly high. This thing's still going up. This stupid thing, way too friggin' high, and it was still taking us up a little bit. This is not what this airplane was made for. <laughs> I should be going around, but we're gonna give her a shot. I should be talking on the ATC, but there's just too much going on. All right, speed's getting back under control. To bring back a little bit of throttle, actually. Uh 
Oh, a little long. Kind of hard since this thing doesn't tell you how high up you are. Wanted to go left right there, but eh, just missed it. Not sure if air hauler said anything or not. But yeah, it's kind of odd. You can't really. I don't know how high up I am because I'm not used to this airplane. But that wasn't bad. Oh, for our landing lights, and everything. Oh, I didn't have the taxi lights on. Jeez. Just too much going on. See, I couldn't haul around ATC at all. Tell people where I was. There's way too much going on. Let's uh, see where the buildings are. All right. See, I wanted to go left, but we just missed it. Retract our flaps. All in all, not a bad flight. I didn't see air hauler come up, but there's so much going on, I may have missed it. Including that friggin' steep dive. I really screwed up on the altitude at the end. Got too low, then it got too high, and then this thing couldn't get it right. Make sure that this runway does connect up. I believe it does, yes. Yeah, see, I can't tell anyone that I'm on the runway. Since we're going to taxi on this runway. What is that, like gravel over here? It's like a gravel runway or something. I don't even know what, what state are we in. I don't think that will, yeah. Sorry, I just hit the mic. I changed where my mic is, got it below me now, so if I hit the mic, I just have to excuse me. I'm not quite used to it yet. I used to have it hanging down in front of me, but that kind of literally screws up your vision. So I moved it below me. Helps me a little bit, but like I said, I'm not really used to it, so I might hit it occasionally, inadvertently. Alright, we'll mosey on down here. Not really sure where you park a Boeing 707 at an airport like this. Long runway, though. For some reason. It's good for us. Turn off our landing lights. See, I don't know why those do that. The extending and retracting of the landing lights. Uh, hit the mic again, sorry. It's just like right above my controller. The thrust lever of it. Alright, I'm going to take a look outside. Where should this thing be parked? I'm thinking over here. Got some wide open area over there. Don't really want to park it next to the Cessnas. <laughs> All 
Alright. Didn't quite go out far enough. I'm really digging this plane, though. I really... I want to get good at it. It's, it's such a fun plane. But it's hard flying a huge plane like this if you're not, you know, used to it, so... Like, like I was saying, you know, when you're... You don't know exactly how high you are above the runway and stuff like that, but... I really do like this plane. I'm thinking when we do change, we might go over to the Airbus. Just yesterday, uh... One of my subscribers, Mellers FC, he he leaves the most comments. I like that about him. I like comments, but not a whole lot of people leave leave them. Mellers FC does though, and yeah, he was talking about he's in the Airbus now because he plays there hard. I kind of got me thinking, you know, we only did like maybe two videos in the Airbus, and uh, I couldn't ever show the outside because I, I didn't know what was wrong. I thought it was an easy dock problem. It turns out it's just the texture max load. You have to turn it up to forty ninety six, and it'll show fine. So we might jump in that plane after I'm done with this one. So I it's a good plane. It's a fun plane. Uh, Aerosoft is releasing the A319, I believe, later this month, I think. I definitely want to get that. Alright, stopping right here. We're off the parking brake. We're not going to have any external air and power. I mean, technically we could if we wanted, but realistically, it, yeah, it's not... Yeah. I don't think they've got that at this airport. They might. Well, I just won't worry about it. Yeah, I wasn't supposed to turn all that off yet. Should have left the beacon on and stuff. Bef Let's get this stuff off. Equipment cooling. Light recorder. What? I can't remember. What was the name of service interphone switch? All right. That's off. Batteries off. Sounds like it's still on. I don't know why. Battery's off. What is that? It's like an APU. There it was. One of the levers wasn't totally down. My fault. All right. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and move on over to Airler. See how we do. Alright, here we are. So load this stuff. Make a bunch of money. Grayson County. No idea where we are. Come on, there we go. A hundred percent, yes. I wish I could find out how we landed. I have to. Well, I can. I can watch it again. Let's see here. Any clones? We just paid a bunch of stuff again. It was like seven hundred grand. Of course, the first of the month is when we pay the most stuff. This is just the eighth. Trying to get a, a bunch of money. I want to still kind of want to buy some planes. Like another 747 MD-11. We need to pay off some stuff, but I don't know. I always say I want to pay it off and never do. 696 minus the fuel, which we'll never know what that is. Let's see. Will this tell us? 
Touchdown speed, 131. Is that what I wanted? Uh, it doesn't, uh, no vertical speed. There it is, 86. Oh, we, that was gentle. Greaser, there it is. There we got a greaser. Heck yeah, we haven't had greasers since we were in the little blinds. All right. All right, everybody. Let's see where we are exactly. Uh, I'm going to have to show this. Come on. Show the fleet. There we go. Got all these planes. Oh, wrong. Hit the button. All right, so it must be in Texas, just north of Fort Worth. Northeast. All right. Well, that's it for this episode, everybody. Glad you checked in. Hope you all liked it, and I'll see you on the next flight.